Taekwondo and into Miami. That was prime time. Today we're making more history as New York City and Philadelphia contest the earliest game ever to be played in the history of this competition. Yes, MLS is back for breakfast. Welcome to the Heineken pre-game showcase. Good morning. Good morning. What did you breakfast. have for breakfast? Um, oatmeal for me. Oh, God, gross. What did you It's have? like eating concrete. Oh, stop. You had concrete. I did. I did. Okay. Yeah. Should we talk I'm football? I'm chomping at the bit. Yeah. That's oh, a good one. Very huh? good. Yeah. No. Let's leave it there. Okay. okay. Shelled end. <laughs> right. Football. Attractive game today. New York Absolutely. City against Philadelphia, two of the top three in the East mm -hmm. last season. And Philadelphia now with lots of expectation attached to them, which is a change. Yeah. Uncharted territory for Jim Curtin. When you look at the incremental uh, progress that they've made, some experts are picking them to win this tournament. Now, I look at this back line, three of the four, John. 24 or younger. I also look at that four in the midfield. Martinez is a very interesting signing, similar to a Diego Char for the Portland Timbers, but Aronson, Montero, Bodoya, they are the engine of this team. They're going to bring life. They're going to bring energy and prove to New York City they may not be as talented, but they're up for the challenge today. And as for New York City, they, of course, are under the tutelage of a relatively new coach in Ronnie Dyler. But success in Major League Soccer has proven that if your roster stays consistent for three, four, five years, you're going to have success. Now, how, what do they look like? That remains to be seen. They started 0-2 this year. And they need to show some dynamism because at this moment in time, New York City are the only team in Major League Soccer who have yet to score a goal this season. We're back with kickoff very shortly. You've been watching the Heineken Free Game Showcase. Welcome back to MLS on ESPN, presented by Audi. Match two of MLS is back, coming to you live from the ESPN wide world of sports just outside Orlando, Florida. New York City on their way. And their opponents today, Philadelphia Union. These two have met frequently in recent seasons, the 12th meeting in regular season play. New York City very much with the upper hand, having won eight of the last nine meetings. And the players making their way out for the first of the breakfast time kickoffs in this tournament, of which there will be plenty. Half time in match two of MLS is back. New York City FC nil, Philadelphia Union nil. And we'll take the opportunity during our upcoming Audi halftime report to chat with the fascinating Brian Schmetzer of Seattle Sounders. Welcome back to Major League Soccer on ESPN, presented by Audi and coming to you live from the ESPN wide world of sports in Orlando, Florida. Day two of MLS is back. And at halftime, goalless between New York City FC and Philadelphia Union. You get a glimpse there of the sheer scale of this place. Taylor, 220 acres of sports facilities, 17 soccer pitches alone. This is back today with a breakfast menu that for Philadelphia was definitely grab and go. An assured display, Ali Bedoya grabbing the only goal on the hour mark and Philadelphia go away with three important and significant points thanks in no small measure to their goalkeeper Andre Blake and an athletic elastic performance from him. New York City though still without a goal. We're back tomorrow at 9pm Eastern with Seattle and San Jose. First take is next.